Let's take a moment and consider complex heritable diseases. I'm not talking about Mendelian diseases, but rather traits that impact a person's liability to develop a disease, type 2 diabetes or heart disease or breast cancer. One way to model these diseases is using a single quantitative trait. We'll say that this trait is normally distributed with a mean of zero and that the individuals above some threshold, we'll call this T, develop the disease, while the individuals who have this quantitative trait but have it lower than this threshold don't develop the disease. And we can actually figure out where to draw this line by asking out of the entire population what proportion of individuals have the disease, right? So if there is, I don't know, 10% of the population that uh, develops type 2 diabetes, then the area right here, the area above this threshold under this normal curve should be 10%. And so from that population threshold, we can actually determine M star, right? And so now here's the trick. Let's take these individuals. Again, we're in human genetics, and so this is entirely observational. There's no experimental breeding that's happening here. But we can take these individuals, people with heart disease or diabetes or breast cancer, whatever, and look at the distribution of their children. Right? And again, we can ask, how many of their children develop this disease, we can draw a threshold. And from that threshold, we can determine the shape of this distribution and find M prime. And now we've got the three parameters that we need to determine the narrow sense heritability. Remember, we took our equation in the last video and shifted it around a little bit and determined that, the, that once we've got these values, the narrow sense heritability is m prime minus m over m star minus m. And in this particular case, we set m to 0, which makes this even easier, right? It's just m prime over m star. And so when we carry out this analysis for common heritable diseases, it turns out that the heritability for many of them is quite high, right? In diabetes, it's maybe 70%. Congenital heart disease is something like 50%. 50 Celiac disease is over 80% heritable when you consider it this way. We've known forever that if your parents died of heart disease, you were at a much greater risk for developing it. And now we've got some analytical tools to quantitate that risk. However, this doesn't actually tell us much about the genetic underpinnings. Remember, even estimating the number of genes that are related to a complex trait like this is difficult. Fortunately, modern experimental methods can help. Identifying the genes that affect quantitative traits is our last topic.